Yo, welcome back everyone, this is Stu42 with another Minecraft video. It's been a little while since I've made a video, so uh, I've got... <laughs> I had a bit of trouble, as I seem to do. I placed down a... Uh, what was it? It was a BC Silicon uh, laser and it corrupted my world and the backups hadn't been running for two weeks. Um, so I basically reverted to backup and decided to rebuild everything. Uh, that I'd lost, which was essentially all the stuff from the last episode. Um, this uh, this setup here for the ethanol crystals uh, being automated. So that's all set the same. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do the next step, which is finally getting on to jet fuel. So here we have my jet fuel setup. Now, as you can see, it's pumping away into the resonant tank here. Um, we have a 16 to 1, yeah, 16 to 1 gearbox set to speed. I've got a performance engine here. Uh, as you can see, we are putting ethanol crystals and blaze powder into that uh, to keep uh, the additives up. And we've got water keeping cool. Uh, engine control underneath. This is my emergency shutoff switch. I can actually switch this down to turn it off. So, uh, what first? I'm going to just sort of dive straight in uh, with the materials that we need. So, in here we need uh, blaze powder, coal, ethanol crystals, uh, netherrack dust, tar sand, and magma cream. Now, coal, pretty easy, we're just getting that from mining. Ethanol crystals, as I said the previous video, has, uh, has that automated. Uh, blaze powder and magma cream. Now, I do have a couple of things that I'm doing for that. Uh, I've actually got some, if I go up a couple... <laughs> Here I have my uh, slimes that are just sort of bouncing around behind the glass here. Uh, that far side just is glass going outside as well, just to give them some light. Uh, and a vacuum chest, which is vacuuming up the uh, vacuuming up the slime uh, happily. As you can see here, we have here we have just over three stacks of that. Uh, we have no blaze powder though. Um, as you can, uh, oh, there we go. Cool. Uh, so if I just duck through to the nether, I'm having all sorts of problems with the blaze powder. It seems like it runs for quite a long time, uh, and then I have a real a real problem with my blazers all dying. So I've got this nice sort of area here, and as you can see, my blazers are dead again. Again. Uh, so I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Uh, let's just get myself some of those. So... What I have been doing is I've been going and capturing blazers. Just put that out. I don't need the lava anymore. Uh, I've been going and capturing blazers and putting them in here. And then this vacuum chest with a item conduit to this ender chest is sending them all back to the main base. So um, later on, I will. I do know where there's a blaze spawner, so I will try and build a, a proper spawner. But for now, that's what I've been doing. Um, yeah, so in the interest of just keeping this video <laughs> moving for the jet fuel, uh, just assume that I've got a bunch of uh, a bunch of blaze powder coming in, uh, which only leaves a couple of things. And if we go down over here, we have those couple of things. So here we have a standard sort of gas engine, diamond two to one gearbox, and a grinder setup. Now this grinder is grinding soul sand and netherrack. So this interface above has these two patterns. Uh, one say grind a netherrack dust out of netherrack, one saying to get a tar sand out of soul sand. Now what that does is that'll craft on demand. So this here is going to request a bunch of tar sand and netherrack dust and every time it requests one of them it's going to pop the netherrack or tar into there and suck the sand at the other side. Now the bit that's interesting about this is if I cut through here you can not only see the power cable but I've also got this. Now I've got this computer craft terminal and a single redneck cable going to the engine control unit. Now what this is doing, this is a very, very quick and dirty program. So if I just control T out of that one, edit startup, this is all it is. Uh, so this is a very, very, there's no error checking, there's no nothing in it. But basically what it does is it looks at the grinder at the top and then it sets a loop, which basically looks in the grinder. The grinder has a method called has item. It doesn't seem to work properly, so I don't know whether that's still a bug. So I'm just looking at print inv, which does seem to work. 
and if we use the two string on that it'll end up with empty if there's nothing in there so if there's nothing in there we're basically going to set the left hand side to true which will turn the engine off otherwise there's obviously something in there therefore we should set the redstone to false which will let the engine run and it also just prints something out before sleeping for a second so if we exit that and start it back up again full so it's basically saying that there's something there's something in there and that seems to be a pretty good way of keeping this engine only going when there's stuff to actually process now the same thing I'm using over here uh, I've got my resonant portable tank uh, which has the jet fuel going into it uh, I'm siphoning it out to a tesseract which I can use elsewhere there's also a pipe going down along and under this control unit with this gas turbine uh, which as you can see is completely full I'm still messing around with the gas turbine I haven't quite got it working uh, right for the extractor yet um, so I'll do that in a, in a future video uh, but this is the same sort of programming uh, basically instead of looking at the grinder if we grab that it's the same thing we're just um, wrapping the tank instead now the tanks a little bit more tricky we have to have the amount which uh, we do this way we get tank info unknown tank name and then one because there's only one tank and then the amount and then capacity is the capacity and filled is just how much is in there over the capacity so uh, if it's less than one in other words if it's empty then we'll turn the redstone off which makes the engine run otherwise this filled is uh, equal to one which means that it doesn't need to process so we should set the redstone on to turn the engine off <laughs> Blah, that's a bit complicated so with that running that that seems to be work pretty well again the sim single one second sleep and it's just outputting so that I can see what it's doing it is not flash there's no flashy screens there's no error checking it will break horribly if you set it up in a different order uh, but it's it's good enough for me to get this going at the moment uh, which basically keeps this fractionation unit going which of course is going to run out of magma cream shortly because I haven't got any blaze powder uh, but that's okay I will, I will go and fix the the blaze spawner uh, and probably show that in, an, in a future video. I know I can get a proper spawner controller and that'll be a lot better uh, for, getting, for getting blaze powder out. Uh, so there we have it. That's, that is the incredibly uh, fast sort of run through on this. Um, you know, there's nothing, nothing mysterious here. We've got a couple of capacity cards to get this up uh, to the numbers we need because we need to output six different items. Uh, a crafting card here because the magma cream needs to be crafted the netherrack needs to be dust crafted and the tar sand needs to be crafted uh, they in fact if I go over here yeah there we are there's my magma which is just slime ball and, and blaze um, since I'm not harvesting them anyway uh, yeah so that's pretty much it uh, <laughs> so for the incredibly uh, fast episode uh, but as always thank you very much for watching and I will see you again next time